Mama Cat. George? Stop. Hello everyone, my name is Marlene McCohen. This is Harry. Harry's my cute little dog, aren't you Harry? And this is Jersey, she wants to be introduced next. This is Picasso, my mustache parakeet. I also have with me Sandy. Sandy, where are you? There's my Sandy girl, she's so cute. We are here today to tell you a story time Sunday. But this story time Sunday is gonna be a little bit different. It's going to be about my dog, Harry. As usual, the animal that I wanna have in the video hides from the video. Yet, for whatever reason, we always try to get Jersey in my videos. And finally, she's staying. But of course, since I said that, I feel like she's going to try to leave. Are you really gonna try to leave? Blocking Harry is Harry's pillow pet. Yes, all my dogs like birds too. This is my dog's pillow pet. Funny story about this pillow pet. An ex-boyfriend of my sister's gave it to her. When they broke up, she gave it to the dog and he carries it everywhere and then like uses it as a pillow. That is one of the things he carries everywhere. The other thing is his old leash. He brings it everywhere with him. He walks around with his own leash, which I can use to bribe him to get his face in the video. Yeah, baby, I'm not taking it away from you. You can carry it with you. I look like a right crazy person right now if you didn't know what I was doing. I just got like two birds, two dogs on my head. It's kind of insane. Say hi, Harry. Harry's very huggable and lovable. Let me tell you a few things about Harry. I gotta get him higher that you can see. Picasso, if you didn't stand on my head, then we could fit both you and Harry into this video. Oh, you have something to say about that? I don't know why I think these videos are gonna be easy. And then like, they're not. I My actual thought process was, I'll just bring Harry up here with Picasso and that will be super easy. But Jersey was really upset and she didn't want to go to bed. So I brought her because I knew Picasso wouldn't come without her. And then of course I brought Sandy. Oh, here's my Harry, now you can see him. Okay, well you wanted to be in the video. Look at you, you're still in the video. Harry, see, it's so much easier with the birds because you can see them, but Harry is like, why won't you stay where we can see you? There's two things you need to know about Harry before we go on with the story. First thing is, Harry has a thing for underwear. Like seriously, if he was a human being, he'd be some sort of like, pedophile or something, or like sleazeball. I don't know, he's just kind of obsessed with <laughs> Doesn't this look funny? Like he's literally at like a hair salon. You like him? You? Yes, 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 I can't tell this story. There's no way I could tell this story. There's, uh, there's too much. So here's a few things you need to know about Harry before I tell you the story. First thing is, Harry is extremely territorial over my sister's bed. They love to hang out in my sister's bed. Actually, Sandy, she hangs out in my room. She's technically my dog and Harry's technically my sister's dog, but not really, cause they're both our dogs. But Harry is obsessed with my sister. He is emotionally unavailable if he is not around my sister. This is something that is a fact about Harry. He's such a big baby. So he's territorial over his bed and he likes underwear. Let me set up this story. I was having visitors come from out of town. My Aunt Amy, really high fashion, works for Gucci, very New York, really cool aunt. She's actually not my biological aunt. She married my uncle, who is my dad's brother, except now they are divorced and she was coming with her new husband of three years, Abe. Check out this video of Abe falling in love with Jersey. I took it for Instagram, by the way, so that's why it's filmed wrong. How do you like her, Abe? I love her. I love her, she loves me. <laughs> Look how much she loves me, Amy. Look. This is Abe. You need to get a clear picture of all these people so you understand what's going on in the story. So Amy and Abe were coming to visit, which was really exciting. We went wine tasting. We were having a good day. And then my dad's 
other brother, remember Amy was married to one of my dad's brothers and now is not. My dad's other brother came with his family, my uncle Leon and his wife Diana, with their daughter who's my cousin Anna. And they were coming from San Diego so it was gonna be a really exciting full house. Abe and Amy were gonna sleep in this room here and then Leon and Diana, the ones from San Diego, they were gonna be sleeping in Jenna's room because Jenna was going to go to her boyfriend's house and give that room up. It seemed like a pretty good solution and we've done it before. So on Monday, me, Tracy, and my New York aunt and uncle decided to go wine tasting. That evening, my aunt and uncle from San Diego and their daughter, my awesome cousin who's about to save the world, came to visit. So they arrive that night and they're very tired. We all eat and then my uncle starts falling asleep on the couch. So I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. Why don't you go upstairs to Jenna's room? You know, you've slept there before and just go to sleep. He does. And then Abe and Diana, the ones staying in this room, they come upstairs and go to sleep. My aunt Diana comes into my room and we start talking. So we're doing that for a few hours and then at one point we hear the door open in Jenna's room. And I'm like, huh, that's so weird. Did my uncle wake up? Like, what's going on? And I don't think anything of it. After a while, she goes to sleep and I go to sleep as well. The next day, we all go to hang out in Santa Monica. When I get in their car later, they tell me that they slept in the bed with Harry, okay? My territorial dog over the bed. Guys, I had no idea Harry was even in the house to begin with. Like there was so much commotion in here and Jenna so often takes him to her boyfriend's house that there was no way for me to keep track of all the animals and know that Harry was in our house. I had no idea. So I'm like, oh my God. So you're telling me my uncle went upstairs to his guest bedroom and my dog was waiting for him. And she's like, yeah, when I got into the bed later, it was my uncle and the dog sleeping next to each other. She's like, I get upstairs and I see Leon and he's sleeping with the dog and I'm like oh my god I'm so sorry I feel so bad like I could have brought the dog in my room like who leaves guests to fend for themselves with like the family dog that's kind of insane over the bed and why I heard of this story was because my uncle said uh, you know, Harry, he's kind of likes to play a little bit, huh? I was testing him and he was getting kind of aggressive. And I was like, yeah, did he show you his teeth? And he's like, yeah, and he was having a blast with it. And he was like, yeah, he showed me his teeth. He just wanted to play. And I'm like, oh no, Harry does not just want to play because Harry had anger management issues. I'm not kidding you. When we rescued Harry, we rescued him from a place called Lucky Puppy that my sister was working at. When we rescued him, he was on like all sorts of doggy depressive drugs. And my sister took him off of those drugs and crate trained him. But I swear to you, this dog was scary. He was a terrifying dog. In fact, he got returned three times to the place. So really he was like, not manageable. But now here he is and he's like an amazing little fluffy cuddly dog. By the way, Sandy is from the same place. But yes, he does still have like, you could tell like he gets his thing like every once in a while. You have to be careful. I mean, he's never done anything to anybody, but like you always know when something is there, you know. My guests went up to their bedroom and were greeted by this guy who, don't be fooled, he looks so cute and fluffy, but I'm telling you, he's territorial over the bed. So there he is and I'm like, guys, I'm so sorry. And Deanna goes, he has slept on my head all night. And I'm like, oh my God, I sent my aunt and uncle like, you know, respect your elders. Like I try to have like everything prepared and have a room for them, except with wine tasting and like seven animals in the house, it just like, I just didn't notice that like the dog was not missing. Like I thought he was missing. Like there are times that I tell Jenna, you need to text me that you didn't take Harry because I might not notice that he's even in the house, you know, cause he likes to linger on her bed. Now she has to text me and be like, oh, by the way, I didn't take Harry, he's at home. Remember to feed him because he goes in there and mopes basically all day. 
So anyway, he's in there and that's all fine. That's the joke. It's all funny. And then before we go out the next night, okay, it's not about a bird. You want to make it about a bird? Well, I bet you guys haven't heard Jersey scream often. Come here, baby. You can come here. By the way, Sandy doesn't make eye contact like ever. Sandy, are you making eye contact with me now? So cute. Okay, I get lost in their eyes. Anyway, I love animals so much. What can I tell you? By the way, Jersey was screaming because she wanted to go potty. So I put her on top of the shower and then she was like, Oh, this again? Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, go ahead, do that. Do you guys mind? No. Again, why they don't sleep in my bed. Come here, guys. What are you doing? You're so weird. Sandy! You know, like every video, I literally think nothing can happen. Okay, guys. She wanted to come back. I really thought my hair was looking cute today. Like if I thought it looked decent last week, I thought it looked pretty good today and then like this. So before we go out to dinner the next night, we are all in Jenna's room, like all of the ladies, both of my aunts and me and Jenna and my cousin Anna. Anna, by the way, is the one you might have seen in the behind the scenes video of, I think, Vina Amoris, I forgot which film, where I tell her that she has to memorize a whole bunch of lines right away and I pranked her. Anyway, we are all in my sister's room and my sister goes, um, Diana, that's the one staying in her room. I have to tell you something. When I came home today, Harry was sitting on my bed with... Leon's underwear. And then she proceeds to show us a picture of Harry with my uncle's underwear. And then everyone's having a laugh and my aunt's like, hey Leon! And you know, it's kind of embarrassing that my dog is being territorial over their bed and their underwear, so like nothing is safe. And then my sister had to go around and make sure that Harry didn't find any other underwear, like any of Diana's underwear or anything like that. Because there was a time that I was sitting on Tracy's bed when she lived with me in my old house and Harry had thrown up somebody's thong. So, I mean, yeah, Harry is like, got his own thing. Anyway, everyone's laughing about it. And then Jenna, she doesn't want them to forget the underwear. She sees that they have a lot of open bags. She moves the bags away to a safe spot so that when we go out, he doesn't find any more underwear. And she puts the current underwear that Harry is now possessing over into one of the bags and puts it where Harry can't find it. We go out to dinner. That's a story in itself. That story is I, just ridiculous. I don't even know how this happens. It's like you have to remember we're a very foreign group of family members So everything was really insane But that night my uncle and aunt the ones in San Diego went home so that my aunt could go to work So they were gone So on Wednesday morning when my aunt and uncle Abe are leaving to go back to New Jersey I walk into my bedroom. I don't know why I wasn't in my bedroom, but I walk into my bedroom and my sister is in there and she looks very serious. And I go, what's up? She goes, so I just got a text from Diana. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, she doesn't think. <laughs> Can't. She goes, she's pretty sure that the underwear is not Leon's. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, she texted me that she thinks it's Abe's. I can't. That she thinks it's, <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. She thinks it's Abe's underwear. I'm meaning Abe, you know, Abe from New Jersey who was staying in this room, <gasps> meaning <laughs> my creepy dog walked out of the room that he hibernates in, came in here and started sniffing around, decided that he likes my uncle Abe's underwear, snatched it 
and took it back to my sister's room and got all possessive over it. Then, Abe's underwear, like the sisterhood of the traveling underpants, made its way all the way to San Diego. <laughs> so Abe, going home minus a pair of underwear because of my, because of my creepy dog. Yes. And like, he has no shame. Like he knows the story is about him and he just like doesn't care. We were like debating, do we tell them? Do we not tell them? So my aunt comes in the room after like her morning jog or morning walk and she's all like so East Coast, you know, woke up and did stuff in the morning, like totally not on West Coast time while I'm lounging on the hammock. And we're like, uh, we have something to tell you. Cause like, we don't know how, you know, obsessed Abe might be with his underwear. And um, we didn't know if it was his underwear either because <laughs> Jenna was like, maybe it's dad's, maybe it's somebody else's. And Amy comes in and we're like, so we have something to tell you. And then Jenna goes, I'm gonna show you the picture. And I go, no, 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 don't show her the picture. That's gonna ruin the reveal. And in Jenna's head, she's like, no, like there's no way Amy's gonna know exactly. And she shows her the picture and she goes, oh, that's Abe's underwear. And I'm like, okay, yeah. So that underwear is in San Diego. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but my dog went into your room, snooped around, fell in love with your husband's underwear. And now it's on its way to San Diego with our our other relatives. I didn't know what to say and I didn't know how to tell Abe. Well, Abe calls her on the phone in that moment and she's like, hey, where are you? And he's like, I'm in the room. Amy, I can't find my shoes. And she's like, well, I know where your underwear is. And he's like, where's my sneakers? Like he doesn't care that his underwear is missing. And he is such a cool dude, honestly. Like he came in and we told him the story and he's like, that's okay. Like he's really chill. He's a really nice person. What? Jersey's like running back and forth on the floor, like having one of her tantrums. What are you doing? Anyway. <coughs> this is how they guard my house. By asking all scary. Yes, you guys are so scary. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. So the story is kind of like mildly embarrassing. Like in our house, we have a complete sense of humor. Like if this would have happened to my mother, she would have been mortified. She would have been like, oh my God, what kind of dog goes in and sniffs around? You know, like nothing is safe. And then my aunt said, wouldn't it have been hilarious if Harry would have come in here and stole her underwear. And then Jenna thought it was Deanna's underwear and then put that in the bag. And when Deanna got home and found some other woman's underwear, <laughs> she would have been insane. She is not to be messed with. She is from Mexico and I'm telling you, she is like total entertainment. I wish I could imitate her better for you guys. Her daughter is like amazing at it. So that would have been a thing in itself, but the possibility is there, which is kind of scary actually. But uh, yeah, and then like, he's usually only interested in Jenna's underwear. So the fact that he was particularly interested in Abe's underwear is like, I don't even wanna know. Not only is my house full of entertainment, but it's full of like pets, that's one thing. And then on top of that, like very specific pets that all have very insane personalities. And like Harry is obviously some sort of closet something because like, how is it normal to go around eating other people's underwear? Like really think about it in human terms. Like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I like that underwear. I'm gonna like keep it with me. Uh, Yeah, so that is what Harry did. I know this is not a bird story, but seriously guys, it's, 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 it's happened, okay? So that is what happened. And just when I thought I'm gonna tell you guys a dog story, like one decided to reveal itself. That's just my life. I guess if I was more mature, I'd be really embarrassed by the situation, but clearly I'm not adulting yet. 
So, uh, I find it very entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. I think my sister was a little embarrassed just because, like, you know, it was her room where all the suspicious behavior happened. So, that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know how you liked my dog story and if you want to keep hearing more dog stories or if you're mad at me for not posting a bird story. But come on, all animals deserve some love and attention. See, Jersey is, like, screaming her head off right now. Right? What do you have to say for yourself running around like that? I gotta film her running around. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment. All this stuff is, you know, what you're supposed to do for YouTubers that you love. I swear, I didn't make this up. This is what you gotta do to let me know. Question of the day. Which pet of mine do you think is the easiest to deal with? Let me know if you watch my Instagram story today, you know that I had that I had a moment. Excuse me, why are you having a tantrum and you're not even in the video? At least show this tantrum for everyone to enjoy. I gotta go like my child is acting insane. So that's the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I don't remember what I said because like how do you remember anything with a screaming dragon? Oh, you don't. Oh yeah, guys, products I love. Please check out the link below. I put a lot of work into it. It's just really cool stuff for birds where you can just have a quick Amazon link to buy anything that you want for your birds. Check it out. I put descriptions below so you see types of things that I like and what I use it for. I have like some secret cleaning secrets. I have some cleaning secrets in there too, which are really cool. I think you guys will enjoy it. Jersey's about to do something bad. What are you doing? Check that out. Come join Parrot Station. It is my Facebook page for parrot lovers. It's really big. It's hit 30,000 members. That is insane. Hashtag engage not caged and follow engage not caged. And of course, follow me on social media at Marlene McCohen. I love that so many of you watch my story on Instagram. It's so much fun sharing with you all the exciting things, cute things, and things of turmoil that my pets do to me all day. Right, Jersey? I love you guys. Bye. Oh, you stopped your tantrum now? Mm-hmm. <laughs>